Hi everyone, today we are going to tell you how to play Moon by Pablo Garazar. Moon is a game suited for ages above 10, from 1 to 4 players, with an approximate duration from 15 to 30 minutes. The goal in this game is to solve the problems of the Lunar Module computer before its landing on the Moon. Setup To start playing, first place the cards numbered 8, 4, 2, and 1 in the following way. Then, beside to it, form a column with the cards A, B, C, and D. So everything looks like this. Then, place the switched off bits to fill all the registers. Following that, flip the first three goal cards. These ones will show the position where the B, C, and D registers will be. Once they are properly placed, discard these three goal cards. Place the operation cards inside the register cards and the goal cards to the other side. Once this is done, everything is ready to start playing. Counting in binary. Prior to start playing, it is necessary to recall how to count in binary. If all of the bits are switched off, the register will be representing number zero. If there are bits on, you have to add the number they represent. For example, this bit on represents number one, this one number two. If both of them are on, they represent number three. And if these three bits are on, the number represented is 11. How to play. First, you flip a goal card. This is the combination you'll have to get in register A. In order to do that, players can perform the operations they want, taking into account the energy cost needed to execute the operation card. The operations may be performed in any register, but the goals are only fulfilled in register A. The available operations are increment and decrement. With increment, you add one to the register value. With decrement, you subtract one to the register value. Rotate right and rotate left. With rotate right, you move the entire register one step to the left. With rotate left, you do the same to the right. Move. Copy all the bits in one register to another, overwriting it completely. Not. Inverts all the bits in one register. That is, it shows the opposite of what there formerly was. Or. It copies only the switched on bits from one register to another. And. It copies only the switched off bits from one register to another. XOR. It copies only the switched on bits from one register to another, but if the bit was already on, it's turned off. Each round you will have three energy cards. When you ran out of energy, or you decided so, you will be able to take a new goal card facing down and take back all the spent energy cards. If the previous goal is not yet fulfilled, it will be moved up. If a goal card reaches the fifth position at the ending of a round, you lose. If you solve all the goal cards of the deck, you win. In order to make the games more interesting, Moon has some event cards that will cause resets or failures in registers and operations. Competitive mode. To play in this mode, the setup of the game is exactly the same as in cooperative mode. Each player chooses a color. They take their RAM card and place their four bit cards switched off in front of them. The players are given their energy cards and a goal card that they place face down beside their RAM card. Each turn, players will use their energy to fulfill their goal in register A. Players may change any register and copy it to their RAM, but they can't interact with the bits in the RAM of other players. The game ends when the deck of goal cards runs out. The winner is the player who got more goal cards. And that's all for today. We hope you like it and will support Moon in its Kickstarter campaign. See you soon!